hi guys how you all doing hope you guys are doing fine um so guys in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make blast soap please don't mind my voice right now and my face i just woke up from sleep and i decided to um teach you guys this because it's been long i think for the past three days or two days i haven't uploaded any video on my channel and i decided to do that today because i have been trying to um write a new recipe for you guys okay i've been doing this for the past two days now and i finished it today before i went to bed i was so tired so i had to this is the recipe so guys the um product i'll be teaching you guys today is how to make gummy black soap this particular recipe that i want to teach you guys was my challenge yeah it was because you know i usually watch a lot of video on youtube although i have gone to so many online classes to learn how to make blast soap and i have learned a lot in fact different type of recipe on how to make blast soap but there was one particular one that i was actually looking for I wanted to know how to make gummy black soap this is actually my recipe this is something i will do and i will sell for people and they will definitely love it I discovered that this is one of the things that many people keep as their um, secrets that they don't really show because you know I have watched a lot of video videos where people make blast soap and it's watery and a lot of people have sent different message to me uh, asking me how to make thick black soap that's how we call it I usually call it before now okay so this particular recipe is it's very very nice okay i want to give you guys everything i can still create another recipe so that's one thing that is a beautiful part of going to skincare school okay learning every day to know how to create your own recipe how to create your own formula okay so i created this i've been on this for the past two days okay so i had to do my own research to know some ingredients that can complement each other that can actually put into this recipe but now the one i'll be giving you guys is like it's not like the way i would actually put down my own quantity because i know that many of you have challenges in measuring percentage or knowing percentage so i have to write this in a way that you guys can understand it okay so i have ml here i have grams and i have tablespoons so if i definitely if i want to make my own black soap it's going to be much more than this so i have to like just give you guys a very simple recipe on how to make this and also the quantity that you can actually make so now uh, before we start please if you know that you haven't subscribed yet do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button subscribe to my channel like this video share and please do not forget to turn on your notification button so you will be notified whenever i'll be uploading a new video so guys um in making your black soap the first ingredient that you'll be needing is black soap African black soap. Yes, you can't make your black soap without black soap. So it's very important. So you'll be needing two wrap of black soap. So now this particular black soap can be used for acne, can be used for dark spots, can be used for eczema, can be used for rashes, can be used for a lot of things. It can be used for pimples. Sorry, I'm standing, I'm not sitting because I just want to be comfortable making this video. So um, it can be used for a lot of things. It can be used for the face, it can be used for the body, it can be used for uh, rashes, uh, this skin, um, skin acne or body acne. It can be used for that. Okay, so this is a very good recipe for you guys. You can sell this, okay? You can make this and sell it. See, there's no way your customers are not going to come back for this black soap. Okay, so this is a very beautiful recipe that I wrote down for you guys. Okay, so guys, the first ingredient as I have said is black soap. So you need two wraps of black soap. You need a nano bar soap. Now, a few days back, I came across three th different types of nano soap. Before now, I can't even differentiate the fake and the original between nano fake and nano original. So now um, I don't know if I, I don't even have their contact. I don't know how to put their number here. Okay, so if you don't want to use nano blast, if you are not too sure about the original one, you can decide to use Kojic 
uh, bar soap okay so you need a very strong whitening bar soap that you can use for this recipe but for me i would prefer you use nano or kojic okay so if you don't have any of uh, these two or if you know about other whitening bar soap or other whitening soaps that you can include to this recipe then you are free to do that okay so in order to boost the strength of this soap in order to make it like extremely whitening you need um whitening bar soap so you'll be needing two pieces of that then you need um white soap uh ghana white soap i think it's called foam booster so so you need two okay so you need two balls or three balls and then you need shea butter shea butter is an emollient okay you need something that will moisturize your skin if you have noticed if you have been, or if you've been using black soap you'll notice that whenever you use some black soap not all of them though whenever you use some black soap it tends to have like a very dry skin so you need something that will leave your skin moisturized whenever you use black soap in order to do that you need to add in shea butter into your black soap i will not advise you add in coconut oil or olive oil except you don't want to use the black soap for the face because coconut oil and olive oil it tends to clog the pores um just in case you have acne so you need to like just keep coconut oil or olive oil when you are making your black soap you need to use something like sunflower oil sunflower oil is good for all skin type it doesn't clog the pores it doesn't cause acne okay so it can be used for the face and it can be used for the body I've, i haven't gotten to that though so i just want to put that out there you need shea butter five gram okay you can decide to use your skin or you can decide to use like let's just say 50 ml of shea butter but then you have to make your shea butter whenever you want to make your black soap so in order to make your shea butter you need your um you need to use double boiler method please do not use microwave i would not recommend that for you and then you will need glycerin glycerin is also a moisturizer you need like three tablespoons of glycerin vegetable glycerin or whitening glycerin guys so now for your herbs you'll be needing turmeric powder okay turmeric powder lightening the skin is good for acne it's good for pimples it's good for um it's good for brightening the skin actually it's a very good help that you can add to your black soap and then you need sandalwood powder sandalwood powder it tends to uh brighten the skin as well it's very very good for acne it's good for hyperpigmentation it's good for uh inflammatory it's good for um a lot of things okay sandalwood powder is it's fat it's one of the best herbs that you can add to your black soap please do not skip it all these ingredients are so essential they are very very important whenever you want to make your black soap so it's very very important and then you need rice rice powder rice powder is good for exfoliating the skin it exfoliates the skin very well and it's good for brightening the skin you can use sugar if you don't have rice powder okay but do not make your black soap without adding in rice powder then you need, you need nail powder nail powder is good for acne it's very very good for pimples it's good for um it's good for ratchets it's good for um um eczema nail powder is very very good guys so you need to add in nail powder if you have acne or if this soap is going to be is going to be used for acne prone skin it's going to be used for pimples this is a very beautiful recipe that you can actually make for that okay and then you need activated charcoal activated charcoal is also good for brightening the skin it's good for exfoliating the skin and it's very good for acne as well and then you need honey okay honey is very very important whenever you want to make glass so please do not skip it if you don't have all of these ingredients you don't have um the money to buy it for now just chill okay relax whenever you have the money you can get all of these ingredients probably you can just buy it in a little quantity that you can actually make okay so you need honey like 100 ml is very very important okay and then you need lemon oil so lemon oil is going to add as the fragrance so if you add in lemon oil into your blast soap you're going to love the scent okay it gives this lemonish smell okay so please don't waste your essential oil if you want to add in a lemon essential oil it's fine but then you need to add in lemon oil okay it's very very important okay lemon oil is good for acne in fact it's so beautiful when it comes to black spot acne and pimples and the scent is so nice okay so you need to add in lemon oil into this you need like um five tablespoon of lemon oil or probably you need like 40 to 50 ml of lemon oil and then you need lemon powder so lemon powder you need five tablespoons as well 
you need herbal water so this is going to be what this is going to be um the water that you're going to use to dilute your soap so you don't need to use distilled water if you want to use distilled water it's fine but i, I advise you get herbal water aka omi arrow i know you might have heard about that name before omi arrow so you need to add this into your black soap to uh, ferment your black soap and then for your artists, your whitening artists, you need whitening carnico, you need one tablespoon. So you need Filipino set. Now Filipino set comes in two, it has the diluent and the powder. So now you need the same quantity of the powder as well as the same quantity of the, the water or the diluent to dilute the powder. So now for your Filipino set, you need three tablespoons. So all you need to do is to take, probably just use your scale, let's say 30 grams of powder, then 30 grams of the liquid, okay, to dilute your Filipino set. Please keep on watching this video because I'm going to give you guys the procedure on how to make the soap. And then you need glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is a chemical exfoliant. You need like, whenever you want to make use of glycolic acid, you need something like 2 to 3%, okay? So this is going to help to exfoliate your face. All right, so if you are going to be doing this soap for people, or probably you want to give it out for people that have acne, please do not give them scrub, okay? Do not give them scrub. This can actually exfoliate their skin very well. So they need glycolic acid is an exfoliator. You need probably like one tablespoon or you need, let's just say, you need like 2%. So, and then you need snow white powder. So your snow white powder you need two tablespoon you guys know that snow white powder is a whitening powder that gives this lumin luminous skin complexion it gives this yellow tone complexion and is a very good natural um whitening powder that you can include to your formulations probably you can use it for your um can use it for your face cream can use it for your body cream can use it for your soaps it's very very good guys and then you need Kojic powder. So guys, there's something I need to say. You can decide to skip the Snow White instead and use Kojic uh, powder because your black soap, it tends to work at pH of 6 to 7. So Kojic acid is very good for that because it's high in pH level. Okay. And then you need two tablespoons of your Kojic powder. You need liquorice extract. You need three tablespoons. Then now you need anti pimple whitening ball soap. I think they have two type of ball soap. They have the green one and the brown one. For your anti pimple um, ball soap and anti reaction ball soap, you need five each of them. And then you need preservative, okay? Preservative is very, very important when you want to make your blast soap because it's going to be having a contamination with water. So for it to stay longer, you need to add in preservative. So the kind of preservative that is very strong whenever you want to make your blast soap is Jama Plus. So you need to add in, let's say, three to five tablespoons. And then you need sunflower oil. I've mentioned this earlier so sunflower oil is very important in this recipe because it's going to help to um, leave a very good moisture or probably it's going to add moisture into your skin and make your skin moisturize very very well so you need to add in sunflower oil so you need like 50 ml of sunflower oil so now it comes to the secrets of the soap so now what you're going to be adding into this soap that's going to make it very thick and it's been i will leave a picture on the screen on the on the screen so you guys can see the kind of texture i'm talking about you know um this soap what's this soap called i'll try to remember the soap but no that not to waste time let me just go ahead so when you add in guar gum or xanthan gum into your black soap it tends to make it very strong like it makes it very thick and it makes it like slimy i don't know my tongue is not working very well so you need to add in xanthan gum so xanthan gum is going to make it very thick there was a time i bought one black soap because i was actually looking for a way to do this black soap and i have gone to different online classes to learn about different kind of products and then i was not able to get this particular recipe even as much as i explained they still do not understand what i was talking about until i went to school so that was when i knew that it's zantan gum that they usually add into it that gives it this 
thick and glassy look and it is very very nice okay so you're going to love this soap i promise you guys you will definitely love this soap it's about to rain so as you guys can see the camera is the camera uh, lightning is changing because i'm using natural lightning from my kitchen so you're going to add in xanthan gum so you need like two percent of xanthan gum if you want to use gua gum or if you have gua gum at home so gua gum you can use like if you want to use like two tablespoons of xanthan gum you need like four tablespoons or three tablespoons of gua gum because xanthan gum it tends to work better than gua gum so now whenever you want to dissolve your gua gum you don't need to use water what you need to use, best things you can use to dissolve your Zanta gum, either you use oil or you use glycerin. So that's why I include glycerin into this recipe. Though glycerin has its own use and its own benefits in this recipe. So you need to use your glycerin to dissolve your Zanta gum, okay, or your gua gum, in which you ever you have available. So people also use cornstarch. So cornstarch is also good, okay. So mix your Zanta gum with your glycerin and you make sure that you you miss it very well make sure it dissolves properly and this is going to be the last thing that you're going to do so now the procedure on how to make this or procedure of how to make this recipe first you need to grate your black soap you need to grate your nano or your kojic whitening bath soap and then your white ball soap you need to grate it as well then put it in a container oh my god they're making noise you need to put it in a container or whatever you want to use to make your black soap grate it very well make sure it has this fine um consistency okay so whenever you grate it then you use your omi arrow which is called harbor water to to uh, you have to pour it into it and leave it overnight to dissolve very well so if you don't if you know that you don't have the patience of waiting overnight you can decide to just give it some few hours to ferment properly but i advise you leave it overnight so it can dissolve very well for you to use and for you to be able to use your hand to mix together and then after uh, dissolving your soap so the next day all you need to do is to pour in your um whenever you want to dissolve your soap please do not forget to add in your whitening ball and your anti-people ball soap into your base because that is going to that needs to be uh to be fermented also so it needs to have because it tends to be very strong so you need to add it into it for it to ferment very well so the next day you use your hand to mix then after mixing then you add in your health which is your turmeric calm wood um, rice powder and the rest so you add in your powders and mix together make sure you mix this together and then after that you add in your artist which is your whitening artist your oils and your uh, powders okay add in everything and mix very well whenever you want to mix this please you need your hand glove get your hand gloves or you use make probably a spatula to mix this very well make sure it's for see it's make sure that it's very very mixed okay i don't know better english to use for this but make sure that you mix everything very well and now there's something you need to do for me when you want to make this glass so for this for this recipe to be more easier for you or for you to be sure that powders are probably dissolved into your soap get all your powder put it in a beaker okay put in a beaker add in probably a um, um, distilled water into it or rose water mix it very well and heat it just a little bit okay make sure that it's not hot though or probably just boil water put in a container so i have explained to you guys how to make your shell butter do it that same way then i like for a few minutes after you make sure you touch it under and see that the heat is there okay then after that you just pour it into your black soap then mix very well. After that, what you need to do is to add in your xanthan gum. So after adding in your xanthan gum, you keep on mixing because it's going to make it thicker by the day. Okay, so you add in your xanthan gum, you mix very well. After mixing it together, you add in your preservative, you add in your essential oil if you want to make use of essential oil. So that's how to make your whitening, your extra whitening gummy black soap. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you were able to watch this video to this point. I know it's quite long but there's a lot to say and I needed to do it because I want you guys to be the best. I want you guys to do this and you love it and you come back and appreciate me and that will be my best joy, okay? So, um, if you know you haven't subscribed, don't forget to. I have to say that again. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share and comment. So, see you guys in my next video. Feel free to ask any question you want to ask. I'm here for you. I'll definitely reply you whenever I am chanced. So, bye for now.